The Copacabana Beach is Rio's pride and joy. Nine miles of golden sands washed by the South Atlantic Ocean. Brazil has strong links with Portugal. The national language is Portuguese, and the use of black and white mosaic tiles is similar to those used in Lisbon's Rossi Square. Opposite the beach runs the Avenue Atlantica, on which the many hotels of international repute stand, while just a block away is the Avenue Copacabana, Rio's largest shopping street. On public holidays and weekends, the beach is the place to be. You'll have to get down early if you want to pick your spot. As many as 300,000 will pack onto the beach during peak periods. During the week, things are not quite so hectic as people get down to the serious business of working on their suntan, looking at the attractions, or just playing around at the water's edge. There are nine main beaches in Rio, of which the Copacabana is the most famous. You can watch the Copacabana 24 hours a day and never see it empty. People play football and volleyball and fly multicolored kites. They look for twin souls, strike up a conversation with anyone around, do business, argue politics, eat and drink, sleep and wake, walk and sit. In fact, they almost live on the beach. These men are a welcome sight on the beach. They're human tankers, dispensing drinks to those hot and thirsty people needing a constant flow of cool liquid. If anyone's looking for a new craze, this might be it. Skimming the shore on a board. It's rather like surfing on the sand. One thing the karaokes, as the natives of Rio are known, are keen on, is keeping fit. Equipment such as this is freely available on the beach, and the enthusiasts keep it in almost constant use. This young chap is being taught the basics of another popular beach game, volleyball. No doubt he's looking forward to the day he can take his place in a proper game. Sunrise over the Copacabana beach is a truly breathtaking sight. Even though it's Sunday, the Keep Fit Brigade is very much in evidence. <laughs> 